Hey guys, how's it going? Sorry, it's been a while. Um, I don't know, like two or three weeks since I uploaded. I've been thinking about YouTube a lot and whether I should put a video out, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, I don't know what to film about. I don't know what kind of content I want to create. Sometimes it's just about starting. So I picked up my camera today on my shall I say. I'm going to meet a friend that I want to introduce you to. I think I've mentioned him on my channel before when I did the whole election campaign because this is the guy that convinced me to do it in the first place. He is businessman, entrepreneur. He's very inspiring, um, got a lot of energy, great character. So yeah, we're going to hang out, make a couple of videos and yeah, chat about life and business. Okay, so here we are in West Bridgeford Park, which is one of my favorite places. I have vlogged in here a few times. It's a gorgeous day. We've had a bit of a crappy summer so far, haven't we? Yeah, like a lot yeah. of rain. Um, this is my friend Louis. Hi. So you're the guy that made me stand for election. <laughs> yes, I am. So I'm pretty sure I've talked about you before in my videos. Um, but you've just started a YouTube channel. Yes, yes. I have. Yeah. So um, it's uh, called uh, Right Honourable Louis Stead. <laughs> Oh no, right honourable Lulu Stead, isn't it actually? <laughs> Is it really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Or are we going to change that name? We'll think about it. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. What's it about? Uh, okay, so it's about me and the crazy antics that I get up to. So from me flying helicopters to uh, doing up houses, uh, buying classic cars and doing them up and all the other crazy bits and bobs that I do. Definitely my craziest friend. Yeah. <laughs> Always fun though. Always fun, hopefully. Yeah, so... We're just gonna do some different videos, like showing what we're getting up to, like business related stuff. I don't know, we could do business advice mm -hmm. videos. Oh yeah, like. absolutely. Yeah, without a doubt. I think um, just really, you know, our entrepreneurial um, side of, of how we are is, is a really important factor to what makes us successful. Mm -hmm. And I guess we'll be talking about how we um, are entrepreneurs, what we do, how we do it, why we do it. And also, a lot of the time, um, entrepreneurs tend to talk about just the things that they uh, do well at and not necessarily enough of what they fail at. And, yeah, for sure. you know, I assure everybody now that I've failed at many, many uh, businesses in the past, you know, even two years. I've failed at a lot and lost, you know, tens of thousands of pounds. And I think that it's about talking about our failures as well as our um, positive success, um, success stories um, that will be, uh, you know, a, a good thing, I guess. Yeah. I agree. Every failure is like a step towards success, isn't it? Mm, definitely. It's kind of unavoidable. Mm, it's all part of the doubt. journey. Mm, absolutely. So I feel like this is a kind of intro video. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like to, to As future videos. Doing stuff together so people know who I am and mm. they really know who you are, don't they? So yeah. Yeah, well, kind of. Kind of. We will maybe show you around our hometown, go in some of the local businesses. Mm -hmm. Definitely. chat to them small business owners yeah i think that would be good speaking to people and mm. asking you know how what it's taken to start a small business and you know the effort and the sweat that goes into it it's just like oh you know we're i know it's like why why yeah but it gives you that freedom that i yeah. guess it's the freedom that you don't have if yeah. you work for a company i mean i've worked in corporate world and I don't fit in very well there because I say things I shouldn't say and I'm quite kind of out there mm. I guess and people you know I don't fit into a box and to you know go to a, a you know a normal job and fit in a box for someone like me um yeah I just don't do it other people are happy to kind of earn a corporate salary which is yeah. like 30 40 50 grand a year but I'm not I've always wanted to earn a lot more than that and I think that no, not that I'm knocking people that do earn that, but I've always wanted to earn a lot, lot more, and I do. And I have only been able to achieve that because of being my own boss and uh, not getting sacked from the corporate world. So, yeah, it, it varies. It's you know, it's, it's case of swings and roundabouts. Yeah, isn't it? I guess. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So it would just be interesting to speak to different people about how they found it, really. Mm. And also, actually, slight change of subject. Mm -hmm. We're uh, we've been talking about potentially standing again as councillors 
in yes. the next local election, haven't we? Which yeah. is, I think, in two years' time, which is a county council election. So Nottinghamshire County Council, um, yeah, we'll probably both be standing, won't we? That would be so good. It would be really good. We've got time to prepare as well, yeah. haven't we? Whereas last time, it was really ad hoc. I was like, Claire, I really think... I said, Claire, I'm going to stand as a councillor. I really think you should. And Claire was like, oh, right, what's a councillor? And I was like, OK, well, they do this, <laughs> they do that. And so therefore, we were kind of... I was like, yeah, you've got to do it. It'd be really good. You know, even if you don't win, it's good for the experience. And then you did, didn't you? Yeah, I know. It was, was good. I'm was glad good. that I did it, yeah. Yeah, so super exciting videos coming up. And um, yeah, really looking forward to it. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're back here again. My friend has gone home now. I'll maybe link to his YouTube channel once he's got it all up and running properly. I think he just wanted to sort a few things out. I feel like this video has been a little bit of a mishmash, but hey, at least I'm putting one out there. Um, because sometimes you just have to do it and make a start. So since it's a, such a nice day, I'm just doing a few little photos. These are some of this week's Kate, I think this one is one of my favourites. I call it Marie, named after Marie from the Aristocats, of course. So yeah, they're going out tomorrow and then I've got some more cakes for Saturday. A fairly hectic week, but it's supposed to be nice over the weekend, possibly up to like 30 degrees. So hopefully I'm gonna take a little bit of time out then. Thank you so much for watching this video it was short and sweet and a little bit random i will keep you updated with everything that i'm doing whilst i'm in this limbo stage of life still not entirely sure where to take my youtube channel at the moment but i have faith that things will work out and i'll naturally be led down the right path that's the way i think about life anyway <laughs> have a lovely weekend everybody well, actually, no, it'll be a week now since I probably won't upload this until the weekend. Anyway, come on, Claire, get it together. <laughs> I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.